Hey, what's up? So I'm gonna show you in this video a very important subject in the Act Query called the Query Invalidation. So remember that in each query we defined, we actually have this uh, query keys. So let me show you. This is the first query that we actually did. We have these array of query keys. So we have fetch posts and we have this, uh, the page. As you can see, we added the query params. And the idea here that each time this or one of these query keys changes, this query will run again. So this is the idea in the Act Query. And there is a way actually to force it to rerun again without actually changing one of these values in the query keys uh, array. So in the, one of the previous videos, I actually showed you a way like to force this to rerun by adding like a flag called refetch. Uh, but you don't need to do that. You can actually tell the active query that, hey, the cache for this query is invalid. So go and fetch it again. And yeah, we are going to do this again. We are going to do this uh, here. But this is the previous step that we have. We have this to create posts using a mutation. Uh, it is the post request. As you can see, it's post request. And uh, this is the data returned. And uh, when we delete actually a post, it will be deleted in the backend and in the front end. This is the current implementation. We will mark it as deleted and we will put this red corner around it. And this is the normal ones and we will disable the edit and delete. The undo button will actually create the same post with the same data as you can see. So this is the current implementation. But now using the query invalidation concept, I will refetch the same query again with the same query param again when we delete any post. This is the main idea here now. So to do this, I'm going to import from the active query in the app post component the use query client. And I'm going to use it here at the first thing. So at the first line in the component. So this will be called query client. And when we actually delete it, so when the delete request returned, as you can see in the then when the promise actually got resolved, I'm gonna call the query client dot invalidate queries function and I'm gonna give it the same key that we actually gave this query. It's, uh, and this one is the pitch posts. And what this will do, it will force, or it will tell each query has the same key like this one. So if you have like 100 user queries, uh, functions with the same query key, all of them will all of them will be invalidated, or the cache of all of them will be invalidated, and it will run again. All of them will run again. Yeah, that's basically the idea. But let me actually just remove the logic behind this uh, mark as deleted. So this will be ID, and this set posts we are actually using here. So I'm gonna remove all of that logic, and also this one. We don't need all of this now. So yeah, this is now the idea. When I delete a post, it will actually be deleted and removed from the DOM. So let me search for this one so you can see it. Now hit delete. This will be the delete request. As you can see, but yeah, let me just refresh for now. So this is a new start. Now delete. It's actually got deleted. Now because we invalidated the previous query, this one, or yeah, we because we invalidated, uh, we invalidated the query actually got run again with the same query params. And let's actually delete the next one. So this one actually will be deleted and we will see the result when we fetch the data again. If we search for it, it will be much more clear. So delete, this is the delete request. Remember we have two second delay in our API. So it got deleted, now we fetched, we don't have to post anymore. So yeah, I think this is very, important subject that you should know about in the active query which is in the invalidated query you should definitely read this uh, it's really simple and it's really short and the second thing in in the invalidation is from mutation so this is the example that they, that they gave you so remember we have this on success function we actually used it here so as you can see i showed just a toast that hey the post actually got created and what you can do is the same thing. So use a query client and invalidate any other query that you will, that you might need. And this is actually the thing that you will most likely end up doing. 
you will just maybe for example i will create a to-do and invalidate the cache for the to-do's request so it all my to-dos will be refetched again i think that's this is what will um this is what you will end up doing most likely so yeah this will be a very short video i hope this was useful and bye bye